Hello. Today we will look how we can 3D scan an object using Meshroom and Blender. So first of all, you need some object to 3D scan. I'm using a statue like this. Now you have to take photos of the object. Imagine this monkey head as your object and this black thing as your camera. So, you have to take photos in a spiral manner from top to bottom as shown in the video. Make sure that there is no motion blur or out of focus images. I hope you understood. Now open up Meshroom and you can find a drop image files option on the left side of the window. Drag and drop your image files to it. I have total of 105 images. After that press that green start menu on the top of the screen. Meshroom will tell you to save the file. After saving the file, just press start again. You can find a green loading bar on the top left of the screen. When the loading is completed mean your work is done. My loading process took approximately one and a half hours. Now you can find your 3D model in the saved file location. In that file, you can find in another file named as texturing. There will be an object file. That is your 3D scanned file. So you need Blender to open the scanned file. For that, open up Blender and press A, X and delete everything and go to File, Import, Object to load your object file. It will take some time depending up on the size of your file. You can see that after loading, the model is upside down. So press R, X or Y to adjust the model. After that let's check whether the materials are proper or not. Go to material preview mode to check that. You can see that there are a lot of unwanted meshes also. To remove that, go edit mode by pressing tab and using circle select option select the unwanted meshes you can use c for circle selection So the final mesh will looks like this. Now we can render the 3D scene. For that we need a camera. Press Shift A to add a camera and set your desired resolution. Press 0 on the number pad to view through the camera and press N and check camera to view option to align the camera. After that, set the world color to black. I'm giving 10 render samples for viewport and 64 for final render.
Do a viewport render. The scene will be black because we haven't added any lights. So press Shift A to add a point lamp and position it properly. Increase the intensity to 300 and duplicate the light source for an even amount of light. So basically your work is done. Now just press render image to see your final output. I hope you guys learned something.